Moving on to the next question, question 36. Between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., the minute hand of a clock will be ahead of the hour hand by 3 minutes. Uh, at So, 4 options are given. One simple way of solving this is just draw out the figures. So, option A will look something like this. So, if this is the clock, um, the hour hand at 6. So, I will just, sorry, I'll just read on the clock. This circle. So, sorry, so this is the clock and 6, 6 o'clock means here, right? So, this is 6 and, uh, sorry, this is 9, 9, so 8 will come somewhere here, 7 will come here, 7, 8, 9. So, if you see 6, 15, uh, our minute hand will be here. This is will be this will be minute hand, and uh, six fifteen means our hand will be somewhere like this. So clearly option A uh, is uh, wrong. So option B, if you see option B, similarly rough figure will do. Six eight at six eighteen also uh, minute hand will be somewhere like this, and uh, our hand will be somewhere like this. So again this is not three minutes. So option B is also wrong. So if you see option C, uh, at 6.36, uh, hour, this, let's, this is B6 and this B7. So at 6.36, halfway, our hand, uh, min, our hand will be almost halfway. So let this be our hand. And 6.36 means, uh, this is 30, 6.30. Uh, it, has, it has crossed here. Uh, 636 uh, and our hand will be just like this okay just like this so if you see it is almost comparable three minutes so this could be a case option c is a possibility and most likely answer is option c and if you see option d uh, this, uh, this is 7 and this is 6. So 648 means our uh, minute hand will be somewhere like here. And uh, 48 means uh, um, minute hand will be somewhere like this. So option D also wrong. So from this you can clearly see option C is the right answer. This is a rough way to do it. You can do it if, you, if uh, in the exam hall, whatever is the fastest way, uh, you should do the, uh, the answer. So this is a possibility. So I'm not, uh, so there is a better way or a precise way uh, to solve this question. Um, so that is uh, more uh, better since what if uh, we were given an option D638. Uh, so if it was given 638, it, it would have been hard to differentiate between 636 and 638 from uh, this method. So we will not be able to tell the answer. So we have to find uh, the exact answer, uh, which we can use. Uh, for that, we can use uh, the relative speed concept. So I will just go through the relative speed concept. So I have discussed the concept of relative speed in detail in the previous video so it is uh, you can check that out mm. uh, I'll just see which question it is and uh, mention it in at the end of the video anyway uh, if if you're familiar with the relative speed concept uh, it is the relative speed uh, relative speed of our hand our hand is compared to the minute hand is 11 by 2 degrees per minute. So, this 11 by 2 is the speed of um, our uh, speed of minute hand is 6 degree per minute and speed of our hand is 1 by 2 degree per minute. So, th this will get gives you 11 by 2 degree per minute. So, if you are not familiar with how this 11 by 2 degree per minute, what is this relative speed and all, um, 
uh, I, you please check the previous video i will tell which question at the end of this video so anyway if you if you understand if you know this concept 11 by 2 degree per minute what we need is at 6 exactly our minute hand will be like this and our hand will be like this at 6 o'clock and uh, if we put the min uh, our hand uh, uh, stationary then the question asks the time it takes to cover this much where this is our hand this is 3 minutes so uh, that is um degree wise if you see the distance to cover is 180 degree this 180 190 degree plus degrees that corresponds to 3 minute so in a clock you can uh, you see that see uh, the clock 10 uh, 5 10 15 that is 15 um, each minute is represented by 6 degree so 90 degree is represented by 15 minutes right so uh, each minute will be represented by 1 minute equal 6 degree so 6 degree that is how we get 6 here the speed of uh, our hand is in 1 minute it travels 6 degrees so here 3 minutes is equal to 6 into 3 18 degrees so in total when we use the relative speed concept 180 plus 18 Uh, it has to travel 198 degrees so if the our hand travels 11 by 2 uh, degrees per minute into x is 198 or x is 198 uh, into 2 by 11 so if you this 1 18 18 2 which is 36 so 36 minutes it takes to Uh, travel 180 degree and 3 minutes so 180 and 3 minutes um, 36 minutes there is one more possibility uh, where 80 180 minus 18 so when the our hand reaches 3 minutes before if the in the question it is clearly mentioned we ahead of the our hand by 3 minutes if it if it just said um, the Three minutes away, uh, two situation would have arisen. Like um, three, um, if just three minutes, it could be like a minute hand is three minutes apart. Like this, three minutes, where this is our hand and this is minute hand. Or it could be like uh, this, where our hand, minute hand, and three minutes apart. since it is not apart it is clearly said 3 minutes ahead so this is the only possibility and 36 minutes is the only answer so uh, if you uh, see we started from 6 and 30 in 36 minutes we will reach at this 3 uh, minutes difference so that means 6 plus 36 6 36 is the answer so this is the precise answer this is the correct answer that we need so c is the correct answer so this is how we solve uh, such questions using relative speed of our hand relative speed concept so solution to question 36 is c 